Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a centipede. Hello, everyone. This is Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys are having a great day for today. In today's video slash showcase, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to play Game Boy Advance games on your modded PlayStation Vita or on your modded PlayStation TV. With that being stated out the way as well, please be sure to follow my latest social media so you'll never forget the latest hacking guides and tutorials I may drop on my channel. I'm trying to, you know, release a video every day on my channel or at least every two to three days when I usually update, but I always update my videos on a weekly basis. And the best way on on how to know that is either joining my social medias as showcased here or joining my official discord speaking about my official discord i recently made like two or three weeks ago you could go ahead and join that via in the link in the description below or in the showcase right now there is the url you can type in in google chrome or whatever web browser you use in my discord you are able to meet new people from the hacking and modest scene um or you could just talk to me whenever i'm free on discord i'm usually active most of the time but if you need guys need help on setting up your playstation vita ps tv or anything from ps3s or ps4s you could go ahead and join there or if you just you know want to check out my discord to see what it has um you could go ahead and feel free to join the download link in the description below to join my discord um if you do want to support my channel you can feel free to donate on uh, any donations you know it's purely optional as well but any money i will receive will go straight back into my youtube channel it will help me you know donate or basically it will help me not donate excuse me it will help me buy things such as a new camera a better microphone even consoles or even tools so i could create you know the best tutorials so you guys could learn new things on you know how to hack your favorite systems but with that all that good stuff getting out the way we could go ahead and get started on the things you need and the prerequisites for the playstation vita so first things first, you need a modded PlayStation Vita or PS TV if you're using the Hankaku, HN Core, or the Trinity Hack. Your system needs to be either on 3.60 to 3.70 firmware. If you don't know how to uh, hack your PlayStation Vita, I'll have a card in the description below and right now um, that will show you guys on how to hack your PlayStation Vita and also um, downgrade it. As well, you need a the latest version of Vita Shell. You also need the latest version of MGBA emulator, and you can use any Game Boy Advance, um, any basically games of your choice any of the items i state will be in the links in the description below except the games of course but vita show and mgba emulator will be on here with that being out the way i just want to give a special thanks out to mgba developers i couldn't find you know actual names so i and i know a lot of people would do help develop you know big projects like this so whoever you know um helped develop this emulator um shout out to y'all guys and i just want to give a big thank you for anyone who supports me and has been watching my content Content ever since I started YouTube three months ago so thank you guys for watching and don't forget to if you need help go ahead and join my discord but with all that good stuff out the way we could go ahead and get started on the PC portion of this tutorial Alrighty guys, so since we're back on the PC, we could go ahead and get started on the PC portion of this tutorial. So as showcased here, here is the actual emulator. Of course, there will be a download in the description below. And here is my Game Boy Advance games as well. So I have a few Game Boy Advance games there. I don't have like the full pack or I do, but I just for tutorial purposes, I don't want to install like over 4,000, um, you know, copies of, you know, uh, Game Boy Advance games. So here are my GBA games that I have right here. And here is the actual actual emulator what we need to do now once it's on your desktop is go to our PlayStation Vita's and run Vita shell so we could go ahead and transfer our games over so either you'll need Fazla FTP client I will have that in the link in the description below as well or for a faster transfer rate go ahead and plug in your USB cable to your PlayStation Vita right now and then we could go straight onto the Vita Alrighty guys, so once you're on your PlayStation Vita, what we need to do now is go ahead and run Vita Shell. So if you're using the Trinity Exploit, go ahead and run that first to run Hankaku settings. And then if you're using HN Core due to basically the same thing, just go ahead and run Hankaku. But since I'm on Hankaku Enzo, I really don't have to do that. So just go ahead and run into Vita Shell. 
and then just go ahead and open up the program as normal so if you're going to transfer files via um, FTP all you have to do is go to start scroll all the way down using your d-pad and then where it says select button just toggle left and right if you want to transfer files via with your IP address or if you're going to use your USB but since I'm live streaming I can't use the uh, USB function or you won't see um, you know my PlayStation Vita showcased on screen but I do recommend anytime um, you're transferring files to use a uh, USB method since it's much faster unless you're transferring files from like UR0 or any other directory on your PlayStation Vita but since I'm using FTP I'm just going to leave this via right here and then I'm going to go ahead and hit select make sure your Wi-Fi is on of course and then you should get your uh, FTP server to showcase on to the screen right here so just leave your PlayStation Vita or your PS, uh, excuse me, PS TV right here and now what we're going to do is go to our PCs to run over to Fazola FTP client or any FTP client of your choice and connect our PS Vita so we can transfer over our emulator and game so I'll meet you guys back on the PC Alrighty guys, so we're back on our PCs. What we need to do is go ahead and open up FileZilla FTP client. As stated before, I'll have a that in the link in the description below. But what we need to do for our host, just type in our IP address on our PS Vitas. So this is what I'm doing here. The port is always 1337. Just go ahead and hit quick connect. If you get this insecure FTP connection error, all you have to do is just go ahead and check this off and then just hit OK. And then you should see all your directories if you have um, Hankaku settings open. What we need to do is go into UX0 or just hover over it and then just drag our two files here. So our emulator and also our games into UX0. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and just wait for all of our games to transfer over. It will be of course uh, much faster if you do this with a USB cable. But since you are doing this over FileZilla FTP client, depending on how fast your internet wants to transfer over your files, then it will may take a little longer. So what I'm going to do here is just pause the video right here and then once all my files and games uh, transfer over, I'm going to go straight back into the Vita to showcase on the next steps of what we need to do. A few moments later. Alrighty guys, so as showcased here, all my games have successfully transferred over. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and showcase the PlayStation Vita. And then I'm going to teach you on how to install the actual emulator in Vita Shell. And then I'm going to go ahead and showcase some games to play. I won't um actually have any volume sounds due to uh, copyright issues. But I'm going to show you that um that playing Game Boy Advance games on your Vita is possible. So meet you guys back onto the Vita. Alright guys, so once you're back onto the PlayStation Vita, what we're going to do now is go ahead and cancel out the FTP server and just go ahead and hit OK. And then what we're going to do now is go into UX0, scroll all the way out from here, and we're going to go ahead and install MGB8.VBK. So that's what I'm doing right now. It shouldn't take too long for the game to install and once it has successfully installed what we're going to do is just verify that our ROMs are on UX0 as well aka our memory card so let me scroll all the way up as shown here GBA ROMs are right now or basically you see all the games that I transferred over what I'm going to do is go ahead and back out of Vita Shell and then from here what I'm going to do is go ahead and scroll down and here is MGBA so I'm going to go ahead and just go and run it like a regular emulator program or just any homebrew and as shown here this is how the menu looks so right now where we need to go is to UX0 scroll wherever we put our games at so it just is like um Vita Shell here's GBA ROMs and then I'm gonna go ahead and play any game of choice let's see I'm gonna play um I don't know Crash Bandicoot 2 so as shown here, here is the emulator running in real time. I believe that if you hit triangle, you could go ahead and save state. You could also load state. You could also take a screen, uh, excuse me, screenshot in the game and also reset the game. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit triangle again. But yep, here's me playing Crash Bandicoot right now. I'm just going to go ahead and exit out the game and I'm going to showcase another one. Um, I'm going to do, let's see, I don't know, Kingdom Hearts uh, Chain of Memories, since I love Kingdom Hearts. So here is Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories running on the um, game. Of course, there is audio to this as well. Like I stated before, I just don't want to get copyrighted um, due to um, some certain games uh, has, you know, audio that is copyright. 
but yep here is another game running on the playstation vita if you guys did enjoy um this video and this installation guide please be sure to leave a like and comment down below of course if you do need help go ahead and join my discord and i can help you guys set that up with that being said out the way my name is nagato and i'll see you guys in the next video peace Of course I love the llamas. Nice and silky smooth.